We set up the Back to President Obama's <laughs> climate crusade. Tough new regulations on power plants are coming in all probability. Big blow to the coal industry. Joining us now, mm. Congresswoman Diane Black, Republican from Tennessee. Diane, always good to see you. Welcome back. It's great to be with you, Stuart. Thank you for having me. We're both smiling, but you know, the truth is, you can't do anything about these regulations. They are going to pass this executive order. It's an EPA rule. There's nothing you in Congress can do, is there, really? Well, that is a problem right now with a president who just believes that he has a pen and a phone, and by executive fiat, he continues to write rules. And frankly, I believe for the next year and a half that we have this president, he's going to do everything he can to accomplish his liberal agenda before he leaves. And you are right. It's very hard to override what the president does, which is why I hope that the people look very carefully at this next presidential election. Well, you've really got to go through the courts, haven't you? I mean, it, 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 there'll yes. be a legal challenge yes. to these rules. I think some states are already starting to challenge the rules. But really, you guys are on the sidelines in Congress. That's very unfortunate. Uh, I guess the only price that the president will pay will be a political price that the Democrats will pay some way down the road. Maybe. That's it. But it's, but it's really the people that are going sure. to pay, Stuart. Mm. You talked about this, and so did your other um, hosts, that it is the uh, people at the lower end of the income brackets that are going to be hurt most by these decisions that are made. And frankly, we've got some uh, coal-fired plants here in the state of Tennessee, and it was, they spent almost a billion dollars coming up to the highest standard that mm. currently is there. And if this is done, there's a chance that we'll lose jobs here in our community. Um, that the cost of the fuel is going to go up, uh, certainly heating uh, costs will go up. So it's the American people who suffer under this president. Uh, real fast, Diane, the Senate will vote today on defunding Planned Parenthood. It does not look like the Senate will get the 60 votes needed to keep the debate going. That means it fails. There's another issue where you're kind of aced out and you can't do anything about what the president decides to do. We can let the American people know, and through these videos that have been, um, been showing for the last several weeks, they're getting to see the true soul and nature of what Planned Parenthood is. And I think that it will be an outcry from the American people, both pro-life and pro-choice, to say, this is not right, this is in inhumane, callous behavior, and they're going to call upon the president. So I think the pressure needs to continue to be placed upon them um, by the American people. Diane, you were an emergency room nurse for, I think, a couple of decades, if I'm not mistaken. That's correct. That's correct. Would you rather be in the emergency room or in Congress? I mean, it's a fair <laughs> question. <laughs> well, in the emergency room, I can say that I probably accomplished a exactly. lot more with helping yeah. people and saving lives, but um, I believe this country is worth saving, and I'm going to do everything that I can in my power mm. while I'm there. Diane Black, Republican, Tennessee. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you, Stuart.